Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome to Pilates for Dummies. If your goal is to have a lean, strong, and flexible body, this is the workout for you. This method of exercise was developed in the 1920s by a man named Joseph Pilates. Initially favored by dancers, the system has become popular worldwide because of its efficiency and effectiveness. In other words, Pilates really works. I've designed a Pilates mat class that includes 18 of my favorite classic exercises. For the best results, the exercises should be performed in the following sequence, but be sure to listen to your body and feel free to build up your routine slowly. I actually recommend you watch the workout once through before you even begin. Pilates is different from other workouts because the routine focuses on the quality, not the quantity, of each movement. You won't do endless repetitions. Instead, you'll do a variety of movements using concentration and control. Throughout the workout, you'll see modifications to help you customize the exercises to meet your needs, regardless of whether those needs are more basic or more challenging. You'll also see some common mistakes you'll want to avoid. I'll show you these mistakes so that you can correct your form along the way. As with all of our four dummies programs, these helpful icons will help you get the most out of your Pilates workout. The jargon alert gives you a plain English explanation of some Pilates terminology. The myth buster helps separate fact from fiction. The tip icon highlights helpful hints. The beware icon cautions you against common mistakes. And the remember icon keeps you on track and focused. Before you get started, here are some things you'll need to know. Wear comfortable clothes that you can move in. Practice in bare feet. Use a mat if you're exercising on a hard floor and have a firm pillow or folded towel nearby. Pilates training has some key fundamentals that I call the basics. These basics are the foundation for your workout and will help you get the most out of each exercise. So if you're ready, let's get started. Pilates was developed around working the deepest muscles in the body, thus creating a strong core or center. The mat work is ideal because the only tools necessary for becoming physically fit are the mind and the body. The following basics will help you learn more about your body and help you get the most from each exercise. The powerhouse, what is it, why is it important, and how do we use it. Neutral pelvis and spinal alignment, and breathing. During the exercises, I will be asking you to use your powerhouse. This area consists of the muscles of the abdomen, your lower back, and your buttocks. It is important because it provides support and strength for your spine, and it helps the rest of your body move freely. Essentially, all of our movements involve the powerhouse. One way to get in touch with your powerhouse is to imagine a band around your middle, kind of like the feeling a girdle gives you. It pulls everything in, it gives you support, and it helps flatten your stomach. Throughout the workout, tighten your powerhouse as we do each exercise. Now let's move on to our backs and talk about neutral pelvis and spinal alignment. Begin with your knees bent and place your feet on the floor. Your knees should be in line with the bones of your hips and your feet in line with your knees. Now focus your attention to your pelvis. It's like a bowl that sits at the base of your spine. During the exercises, your pelvis should lie in a neutral position. To help you find this, place the heel of your hands on your hip bones and your fingertips on your pubic bone so that they form a triangle. Your pelvis will be in neutral when your triangle lies parallel to the floor. For now, try tilting your pelvis up and then down. Bring it back to neutral. It is important for us to become strong in this neutral position. During the workout, feel free to use this triangle as a way to check your position. Now, without moving from neutral, let's focus on our spinal alignment. Ideally, we want to maintain our posture, even on our backs. Take a moment to let your back melt into the floor beneath you, and notice which area of your spine makes an imprint on the floor and which areas do not. Do not try to force your entire back on the floor. Relax. Relax your neck and your shoulders, and see that your head is in line with the rest of your spine. Think of keeping your neck long. Now make a mental note of what this spinal alignment feels like. We will try to maintain this during many of the exercises in our workout. Why don't we sit up and I will give you a visual to help you understand this concept a little better. Sit tall with your legs in a comfortable position. Try thinking of your torso like a box across your shoulders and down to your hips. 
During all of the exercises, it is important to stay in control of this box. That means not letting the shoulders or the hips roll around. Your powerhouse or your center will help you control your box, thus keeping your spine in proper alignment. The last thing I want to mention is your breathing. During the workout, I may give you some specific times when to inhale and exhale, but in general, breathe at a rhythm that is comfortable for you. We will use our breathing to help us engage our abdominal muscles from the deepest level outward. Let's try it. Take a breath in. Now exhale and focus on tightening your abdominal muscles by pulling your navel towards your spine. Again, inhale, then exhale, pull your abdominals in and wide across your hips. Okay, these principles are important, but you may not be able to incorporate all of them at once. First, just learn the exercises. And if you are just starting out on an exercise program, start with the first five or six exercises, then gradually build up to the entire workout. Remember, we're looking for the quality of work, not the quantity. We will never do more than 10 repetitions of any of the exercises. So, it is your dedication to yourself, your focus, and your concentration that will allow your mind to lead your body into achieving the results you've been looking for.